Hi all, it's me Dio, and I have just finished a laser qualifier results bracket generator that I wish to make public, and that works for any and all team sizes, any and all map pool formats, uh, any and all map lengths, um, as long as you have qualifiers and you want those results displayed in Osu Laser, and you want a bracket generated based on those qualifier results, then this will work for you. Um, this does not currently support cases where, for example, you have no qualifiers or you're not interested in displaying qualifier results, but you want a bracket generated anyway. I might add that functionality at a later date, but for now this is only in the most labor intensive case where you want to not only add all the teams, but add the qualifier results to each team and go through qualifiers in a standard uh, results reveal format. Uh, so here is how you do it. If you are looking at the page, you can simply follow this and you can say if you go down to installation. Uh, if you don't have a program which can run CLI apps, uh, install one first. VS Code works, any code editor should work completely fine. And if you are on VS Code and on Windows, make sure you have Node.js installed. Um, if you're not on Windows, I don't know which program exactly would work in the case of, uh, or in place of Node.js, or if you need a different one in place of Node.js. I know for a fact that Node.js should work on Windows completely, and I believe Node.js also works on Mac OS. Not sure if it works on Linux, uh, but for both Mac users and Windows users, Node.js should be completely fine. Recommend downloading both of these so that you can use this. Um, especially if you are on Windows, VS Code is great. For Mac, uh, there's probably other better uh, other better code editors. So I would look up one of those. If you have Git installed, and if you are a GitHub user, you can just clone the repo onto your drive or download the zip either way. If you don't have Git installed, we're just going to download a zip file of this repo. So that's what I'm going to do here. Go download zip. And put it in my downloads. And I'll just go ahead and not pay for WinRAR and drag this into downloads. Okay, now I'm going to open that folder, go to my downloads, and go into here. And look at that. All right, perfect. Got it open. I do trust the author. The author is me. Of course, I trust him. Now we're going to open the terminal in VS Code, do that by hitting new terminal, and then running npm i. What this does is installs all the third-party libraries that are used in this package. So you can see there's a couple of added things now. There's this package lock.json that just got added, and there is this known modules folder that just got added, which is a lot of great stuff that I use when creating this Program. There's only actually two of them. Node modules always downloads a buttload of them. Not exactly sure why, but that's just how it goes. And then we're also going to add a maps.csv and scores.csv file into the db directory in here. You'll notice there's this db folder, and it actually comes with a sample maps.csv and a sample scores.csv. You'll notice that thing is huge. We'll look at that in a second. For now, all I'm going to do is rename this to maps dot csv and to scores dot csv and there we go that's all you need to do if you want to use the sample data and now we're all good we are all good to run this thing so make sure that your maps dot csv and scores dot csv are formatted correctly in my case they are the sample data which is of course formatted correctly um, but make sure that your maps.csv follows this sort of format where you just have, you know, all of your map codes up top and then all of your map IDs on the second row. That's it. That's all you need. Scores.csv is a little bit more complicated. You can see up here we have a header row with team name, team flag, and then all of the map scores for every team after that. Then the team's overall seed. Then all of their seeds on the particular mods. That is something that Laser actually uses is an overall mod seeding. If you don't know how to calculate that, all I do is take the average of all of their other seeds, 
Um, or no, not the average. Basically, all you need to do is sum up all of these and then rank them in comparison to the sum of all the other ranks of everybody else. Very easy way of getting your overall seedings. Um, same for the now all of the individual map seedings, right? You do all of the mod seedings, you do all of the map seedings, you do each team's team size. You can see, right, there is uh, team size in here. Then all of the player IDs, this 1.4E plus 07 here is a player ID that got shortened due to me zooming out, okay? All of these are the real numbers. They are all just listed here. These are all just user IDs. And then from here, you have all of the player flag codes. That is everything that you need. All of the information that Laser could ever want from you is right there. So once you have your qualifier results correctly calculated and formatted like this, put them in there, and then you're good. So now we can actually go about running this. In the terminal, we're going to type node index.js. I'm going to copy paste it from here just to show you it, it works. Then we're going to follow the questions. All right, it's parsed our qualifier data. It's parsed our map ID data. Max team size for this tournament was team size four. Comma separated list of all mod pools in your qualifiers map pool. Uh, in this case, those would be no mod, hidden, hard rock. And just for fun, I'm going to put a space there, double time. You'll notice once I finish, those will be capitalized and there will be no spaces in any of them. Lengths, of course, were four, two, two and two again i don't really care about the spaces it will trim them for me and that's it now i've got a bracket.json file all i'm going to do now is hit save Control s you'll notice it uh, changes the formatting a little bit but the actual content stays the exact same and if i check out a single team's results i can see i've got everything in here You'll notice the mod names are all capitalized as well. And when we go to put this into laser, was originally for Toho Tournament 3. I'm going to copy this and just hit paste. Paste. Well, suppose it can't be that easy. In this case, you can just reveal in File Explorer and copy it from here and paste it into my laser folder. And now if I go out to here, open up my laser client, which I already have installed and selecting Toho Tournament 3. It'll take a couple minutes, but this will populate all of the user data for me. And that's it. That's the entire process for using this. Um, aside from installing VS Code and Node.js, this should only take you a couple of minutes once you already have everything formatted and ready to go. And the actual process of running it is extremely quick. You just need to input some basic information about your map pools and tournament format and team sizes, and that's it. So I believe this should also work for non-standard tournaments as well. There, there's no reason why this wouldn't work for non-standard tournaments, the only thing that you would have to do differently uh, is because the script auto-selects for OSU standard, you would have to manually change that in laser after loading the bracket.json, uh, but that would be the only thing that you need to do. So yeah, thanks for watching. Good luck with hosting. See you next time. And as my bracket from the previous example finally loads in it's been a few minutes it does take a little while for these things to load the first time essentially this program gives a bare bones shell to laser and then it extrapolates all the data once using your login information and your api and now here we go all of our teams all listed as needed you do want to go through the seeding. You need to create a bracket. So I'm going to go to the bracket editor. I'm going to create a match, line them up. There we go. Bracket. Save my changes. I can go to seeding. And note that over on the left hand side here, our teams show up in the exact order that you put them in your scores. 
document. So if you want your teams in seeding order, Laser and my program will not sort them for you. You must sort them yourself in order of seeding. Luckily for you, there's a seed right here. So you can very easily, once you have all this data, take it and transform it by sorting by this column, column M. I believe that's uh, column 14, column 13. Doesn't say. Google Sheets is better. And there you go. That's it. That is this entire program. It does show all of the information properly. It's a little bit to load in, but it works. If you have any questions or any troubleshooting issues, please feel free to contact me on Discord or Twitter or via comments. Uh, if you're wondering why this information shows up looking kind of weird, that's because I have a custom build of laser that was done for the round table while I was streaming that, and I haven't changed it back yet because I haven't streamed anything else on lasers, so I didn't have a reason to. Um, but you can see that all of this information actually does show up properly, and on a normal laser build, your uh, team intro, for example, would have all of the team members here rather than just the names of the teams. So that is everything. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for using the program. If you have questions, again, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm going to leave a link below to the GitHub repo for this program, as well as to Laser and to my previous video on setting up the Laser tournament client so that you have the ability to not only get your qualifiers information into Laser, but also to properly set up the client after you have that information populated. Um, if you are completely new to tournaments and recommend not using the Laser Client, I recommend checking out my video on how to set up the OSU Tournament Client in general, uh, because Laser is a more complicated process, and you're going to be able to get most of the same functionality out of the normal Tournament Client anyway. So, yeah, if you're completely new to tournaments, check that out. Um, if you need other further resources i'll be linking a full document with tons and tons of tournament resources in it down below in the description as well thanks a bunch and i'll see you next time